This is CW with Stay Awake Games, and today I'm going to be playing Trailblazer by, um, his name is, uh, Will Black Jeff, I think? I'll put a link in the comments. Um, if this is your first time watching Trailblazer, I don't recommend that you start with my Let's Play, because I am going to be starting off with, uh, someone else's save file for Chapter 2. Uh, the dev wants specific feedback for this section, so I'm kind of going in blind, so I don't know anything about the story, but I'm, like, weirdly hyped. Like, this game, like, looks really cool. I don't even really, like, dig on the Wild West, but, like, something about this is really cool. So, alright, so I guess before we go in, I guess I should know, okay, so whatever's been happening in the game has been going on for an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, Versian is probably our money. We've probably got 900 of that. Uh, we got five people in our posse, so one person not pictured. We don't have any debt, which is great, because I don't know what the fuck that would mean. So we're just going in blind. Oh, maybe 900 versian isn't money. That might be something crafting, because I see I got 465 cents over here. Uh, so in Wild West terms, that's probably a billion dollars. I don't know. Uh, we haven't collected any bounties. Um, looks like we might be... Uh, who's Mei Lin? Okay, we got uh, Mei Lin, we got Diamonds. Hey, Diamonds. What's up, girl? Uh, and then Jack and Jean, okay. All right, I don't know anything about the plot or anything, so hopefully we can kind of figure out contextually what's going on here. Loaded successfully, that's always good. The posse comes together for chapter two. Please note that the section you are entering is currently in beta. That's why I'm here, boy. Don't hesitate to report any bugs. Thank you for your continued support. Yeah, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, but I haven't because like it's just one of those like games that I knew was gonna be really good. Like like Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. Like I didn't even play that demo because I was like, holy shit! Like when that game came out, mm, that's a great game. Anyway, these things. Oh, okay, we got some Wild West zombies going on here. Yeah, corpses that have been cursed by dark voodoo to consume the flesh of the living. Uh, this guy, he kind of looks British. And how did you come to learn this information? We fought them before, in New Orleans. New Orleans? What are they doing this- oh wait, British guy, damn, I'm bad at this. Uh, New Orleans, what are they doing this far north? Don't rightly know. I ain't seen them in the wild before. They're usually controlled by a boker, a shadow man for hire. Okay. And the last place you saw them was in the South Pass? In and just outside, yeah, but not in the numbers like last night. Diamond said they were coming from the south, but I'd come from Coffeeville and didn't see hide nor hair. Oh god. Didn't see hide nor hair of them for that. The, la the ones last night didn't come from the south. Well, not at first. The first ones came out of the mine. How do you say something in blue? I've always wondered that. Last night was a direct attack. There's got to be a Bokar somewhere. We just ain't seen him yet. If there's a shadow man in town, he'd have left a trail somewhere. You said they came from the mine? No, he said he came from the mine in blue. He also capitalized it when he said it. So maybe get your pronunciation right and search for the clues. Yeah, there were many of them pouring out of there. Dead miners... Leroy, okay, now he's sounding southern. I'm so bad at voices, holy shit. Leroy threw a stick of dynamite, and now he's Australian. Okay, I need to just stop trying. Might not hurt to at least take a peek at what's left. Don't forget, Jack, there's still a whole pack of them in South Pass. We need to stop before they spread. The two of you are able to take on a whole pack of them yourselves. We've done it before. Yeah, but it weren't easy. What are you thinking, Sheriff? Lot of talks stood up and fought last night. Lot of townsfolk stood up and fought last night. Might not be a bad idea to form a posse before you go after them. New sidetrack. Form a posse. Good point. But where do we even look? That saloon girl's been spending most of her time in the gem since she arrived in town. That Mexican seems to have a Taken a shine to our local school teacher. He probably isn't too far from her. Calamity Jane's been nursing the injured with Dr. Hathaway. And there's my deputy, Leroy. 
He's been a bit busy lately. He might be willing to help. If his uh, typo there, if his plate were cleared. Six ain't much a bad number. We could clean that place in no time. Okay. Well, that was a good scene. Maybe like, I don't know. I feel like maybe like the way that it ended was just a little abrupt. Like maybe there could even be like a musical event or like a picture that it shows or something. Or maybe that could be when the screen flashes. Chapter two, the posse comes together. Sheriff's and deputies ammo cases. Best not to search through it while well, the law dog's sitting right there. All right, we are zipping around. I love the fast movement speed. Okay. <clears throat> I am not a fan of chibi characters really ever. Um, these guys are cute. They do look bigger than the default. Um, I don't use the default a lot, so I'm not super familiar with them, but I don't think these are default. Like the faces look like the generator. But, um, I mean, they've been touched up for sure. Okay. I'm always curious about how people do their menus. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I do not have a game end function in mind. I should probably add something like that. Save anywhere. Always appreciated. Good, sir. Ain't nobody got time to look for save points anymore. Everybody busy. Love it. Okay. We've got our mission log. Didn't he call it something else before? Like a, a trek or something? A side trek. Oh, okay. Less specific to the uh, the side quests. They're just called side treks. Because like the the verbiage being inconsistent is a little dis uh, a little uh, disorienting. Like maybe it could be side missions or just treks and side treks. And then the trek log. Uh, but, you know. If you'd been playing from the beginning, it might not be so disorienting. I thought I had uh, two other people with me, but maybe that was just the ending of chapter one. We probably did whatever thing, and then they parted ways. The two next level doesn't have any numbers, which is interesting. Oh my god. Shut it down. Okay, I'm really overwhelmed, but damn, that's beautiful. Okay, um, this is great. Looks beautiful. I would definitely uh, think I think Crossroads needs to have a red background just like the rest of them and maybe even the Starburst. Um, just having that one not match is, uh, <clears throat> you know, a little, makes it stand out a little bit. All right, so let me look at this dossier. Oh, those icons. Cute. Oh, wait, those are default. Well, no, I think there's some new ones in there. They look good anyway. They're well used. I think that like having it like be numbers all over the place and not just like a bunch of hundreds like down the board like is pretty cool. I mean, maybe they started off just as a hundred and and uh, I'm starting to get, you know, equipment and stuff customizing it, but it looks good. Proficiencies. Now, this is interesting. Okay, so we got some kind of like D&D &D system where you can't like wear you have to learn how to wear a hat. And not everyone can use rifles. Dig it. Okay, sweet. Okay. I do wish you could just scroll through instead of having it go up and down the lines, but that is super cool. Um, I'll have to read their backgrounds later. This is cool. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh my god, that's overwhelming. There's so much going on. Dueling. Oh, okay. So I think I remember the dev saying there was a separate battle system. Okay, so we got hat, duds, boots, and haberdashery. All right, I'm just gonna dive in because uh, I'm overwhelmed. Now it says I've been playing for 46 minutes. The save menu said like 115 or something. I don't think RPG Maker counts battle time, so I think you gotta like fake it. Like I remember. Oh, Jesus Christ, get away from me, dog. Is that a battle thing? Oh, that's scary. Um, yeah, I don't know if it counts uh, battle time, and uh, I know RPG Maker 2003 didn't, so I like added a little... I kind of faked it by like every battle turn. I just added like two seconds to a timer variable. <laughs> that now is horrible. I can still hear his words over and over again, just like when he killed my brother. You're all gonna hang 
You're all gonna hang. The nightmares will never end. Oh dear. All right, um, I'm gonna get to business because there is a lot of people on the screen. There's a lot of reading to do, a lot of immersion to fall into. And um, I'm a streamer, damn it. I can't fall into the trap of actually playing the game. So let's push onward. Um, this doesn't look like the town, but I heard that there was a Dr. Hathaway and uh, doctors are helpful and Hathaway definitely makes me think of big jugs, sorry to say, so hoping I get a big jugs Dr. Hathaway. Um, okay, doctor, there we go. Okay, there's blood on Dr. Hathaway's porch. That's not great. Is she also a barber? It's gonna be a man. Jane, get your carbine, you're coming with us. Jane Hathaway. Oh, hell yes, bitch. No can do, Gene. Too many were injured last night. Me and Mei Lin been doing the best we can, but we're low on supplies. We can't spare a single gun hand. We need all hands on deck for these survivors. Medical supplies. When's the next Wells Fargo wagon bomb? He was supposed to be here last week, but the stagecoach carrying it were attacked by road agents. Road agents? Any idea whose gang they're with? Some guy calls himself the messenger. I have seen his wanted poster. He is quite handsome. I mean, in a way that mother wouldn't approve. I mean, I have work to do. Ah, <laughs> cute. Okay, that was good. The messenger. Why does that sound so familiar? Where is that useless daughter of mine? Miss Wu, uh, good to see you. Lovely day we're having. Calamity Jane, I thought I'd find you here. Where is Melin? Who's that? Sounds like trouble. That's Miss Wu. Her husband is the de facto leader of Deadwood's Chinese immigrants. Deadwood? What's she doing here? Do I need to have my gun ready? Is that a historical place? I never saw the show. What is with whispering? Is she behind curtain? Melin, do you hear me? You coming home right now. She's a, uh, um, I'm right here, mom. Ooh, that's a cute little jingle. What are you doing here? I'm with patient. Enough pittering around. Your fa- Oh, wow, what a bob. Mm. Okay. Your father has coddled you long enough. You coming home and honor your family. No, mom, I'm a nurse now. I'm going to help people. These white people don't want your help, Melin. Come, your father has let you have your fun, but you come home now. We found nice Chinese boy for you to marry. I told you, Mom, I'm not getting married. That's it. You have a walk in the tiger. You are coming with me, young lady. Boss fight. Ooh, this is a good jam. Let go. <gasps> you dare use your grandfather's technique on your own mother? You are no daughter of mine. I will spit on your grave when these white people spit you out. Oh my. What in Sam hell just happened? It was just my mother being her lovely self again. I hope it was no bother. Now I remember, the messenger was a lieutenant of the Black Hills Bandits. That's the local ruffians. Sheriff and I have been able to rightly find them. They flee into the hills like the Indians. That's because you're looking in the wrong places, Jack. You don't follow Indians into the hills. You'll never find them. But these guys ain't Indians. They're Americans. That means they've got a boss. You think Al's their boss? If they were muscling in on Al's territory, they'd have a bloodbath by now. If he ain't their boss, he's at least getting paid to help them operate. Let's go see what old... Swearingen has to say. Don't worry your pretty little head, Jane. Jack and I will get those supplies back for you. Then you think you'll be able to spare us a hand? We had more supplies. We might have a hand to spare. Okay. 
Okay, that was a little... Okay, new side trek, missing medicine. Okay, so I'm getting the impression that uh, it's a little bit more of an open world kind of deal where I can kind of like... This chapter has got me, you know, looking for my posse, and I can kind of seem to do that in any order. Uh, so I guess I actually got to read this quest on really quick. Wait, let me look at the options, because there might be like a quest log. Um... Like, cheat sheet. Oh. Oh, cute. I like that. That's neat. That's a ni nice idea. And it like kind of teases you that there's stuff to come. Kind of like reminds me of Grade in the Tales games that you just like know that you're gonna get un unlocking all kinds of cool stuff at the end of the game. All right, so let's see what we gotta do because I definitely want Jane Hathaway. Okay, so form a posse just in general. So I gotta get diamonds, Virgil. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna to do missing medicine. So let's see. Level 10. Hmm, close enough. Black Hills region. Talk to Dan Doherty in the gem to get an audience with Al. Okay. So what was the gem? I remember them mentioning that. Was that... What is this called? This is, um, get away from me. You're scary. This is a juice harp, I think they call this. Oh my god, leave me alone. Can it not have that, like, bling, Metal Gear Solid sound effect? Like, that is triggering. I do not like that. <laughs> Where is the gem? Um, that's not the bank. Is that going to be, like, okay, gem theater. There we go. Okay, is that diamond up there? She's dancing on a balcony already. Or prin princess? What was her name? Princess? I'd rather not drink at the gem. It's a den of shame and wretchedness, of lives wrecked and fortune sacrificed, of vice unhindered, and esteem forfeited, the everlasting shame of Deadwood. That looked like diamonds up on the balcony. If we're gonna get her help, we're gonna have to go inside and find her. Fine, I'll go in, but I ain't gonna like it. That's the spirit. Mm-hmm. Only a serpent, certain type of person is allowed in there. Okay, my landscaper is going right now. Hopefully you can't hear the lawnmower. What are you doing all sitting by yourself? That's kind of sad, right? Oh, yeah, I kind of do, actually. Shit. Oh, my God! All right, I'm just going to do this once. Heh! <laughs> Fucker. Oh, well, that was great. That was so fast-paced. It could use a little bit more sound effects and maybe like a little prompt that's like you actually won i know it kind of popped up in the bottom right corner but it didn't really draw my attention but that's cool well done on the blackjack you're gonna have to send me that script that's awesome feels like i've been waiting here for ages what's it gonna be my oh <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> what are you doing okay she don't got nothing to say this guy is the easiest part of my day okay sometimes i just need someone to talk to is all like, you're just, like, standing on a chair and walking in place. Oh, yes, everyone's walking in place. Diamonds? Who? Sorry, sugar, I can't help you. That redhead's name is Hearts, and her time ain't for sale. Get yourself a room, and if you're lucky, she'll come to see you. The little, like, flash sound effect when your quest log is updated... I should really be like a gunshot or a bullwhip or maybe even like a little juice harp. But otherwise, cool. I like the little update. I'm gonna have to stay for the night. <laughs> Only 10? <laughs> Shit, give me a month stay. Yeah, sure, why not? Is it just me now? 
My little brother left me. Oh, that's right. He wouldn't go in. Mr. Smith, are you here? Yeah, I'll be right here. Diamonds, what's going on? What are you doing here? There's no time to explain. Quick, follow me. Well, I gotta check for treasure first, Diamonds. Ooh, the side door is cool. I like that. Al is meeting with someone. It looks important, but I can't tell who it is. Look, would you mind just explain- Shh! If we're gonna talk, let's go outside. We should be able to leave them throughout the front door, too. We should be able to see them leave throughout the- I'm surprised this is giving me such a hard time. We should be able to see them leave throughout front door, too. Am I an idiot or is that wrong? I cannot tell. He's frustrated too. He's like, girl, what are you talking about? Grumble, grumble. I have scribbles for emotions. This lighting is... Mm, mm, that's not easy. That's beautiful. We got some kind of fire flickering in the upper left. That's just great. These lights coming through the windows. Very well done. All right, diamonds, enough is enough. What in Sam hell's going on? Sorry to deceive you, but I needed your help. I'm not your friend, diamonds. I'm her sister, hearts. Sister? What are y'all, twins? You look the damn same. Twins run in the family. My father was Al's twin brother. Was? He was shot while closing our family meat market in Oskaloosa. So we were sent here to live with our uncle. What's that emotion? Is that crying? Since we got here, I've been following Uncle Al. He's been having a lot of meetings lately with unsavory types. Filthy saddle tramps with smoke wagons. My daddy was killed because someone mistook him for Uncle Al. And I want to know why. I'll tear this whole enterprise if I have to. Why are you telling me all this? Diamond says I can trust you. I can't do this on my own. I... Look, about diamonds, I... Look, down there, it's Mr. Wu. Wu's always been an ambitious man, but what's he doing meeting with Errol in the middle of the night? Oh, damn, he's heading off. We're gonna lose him. Not if I can help it. Quick, jump down, I'll catch you. Um, are, are you sure? Don't worry, your pretty little heart, Missy, I got you. Oof! You okay? My hero! Yeah, 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 very funny. Now let's get a move on before we lose him. Okay, just be careful. Sheriff Bullock's put a curfew in place. None to be out after dark. If we're gonna follow him, we're gonna need to stay out of him and his deputy's lights. No, so far so good. I really expected there to be more movement. Like a patrol or something. They're just standing there. Oh, is she not in my party? Oh, you gonna give me a save anywhere but then disable it periodically? Why can I not save? Okay. Al not happy with Bob. The boss ain't happy with Al neither. Stables and gems supposed to be safe. You attack them anyway. Liar! Cheat! Y'all were supposed to keep them in the path to the mine clear. And we sure... 
Y'all were supposed to keep the path to the mine clear, and we make sure the gym and your stables stay safe. But you didn't keep the path clear. That damn deputy showed up with some dynamite. How you explain that? We pay deputy. He's supposed to stay in jail all night, but red girl. You see, Wu? This whole problem happened because Al couldn't keep his niece on a leash. One of y'all told her about the attack and she blabbed it to the deputy. Now the mine's caved in and the boss can't get in. He ain't too happy about that. Al keeping one niece hostage. Wait for other niece to come back. You just let me know when you have the girl. The boss don't like canaries and he wants to make sure this one don't sing again. In the meantime, you give Al a message. Soon as that mine's clear, my boys are gonna rob that bank. Ain't no sheriff or deputy gonna stop that from happening. Al going to want the cut. Tell him 10%. No negotiations. He dropped the ball in our last arrangement. Wu going to want the cut too. <laughs> going above your boss's head, eh, Wu? You got some brass balls. Fine. Till Al, 5%. You get the other 5 Either way, the path to that mine better be clear this time. <laughs> he's coming this way, quick, hide! Uh, he's coming this way, quick, hide! Woo. Okay, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, can I keep following him? Don't turn right, you bastard. Okay. Fucka! So Wu and Al were in on the attack last night. And now they're planning a bank robbery. And they're looking for my sister. Yeah, we gotta find her before they do. Any ideas where she is? Not a clue. She skipped town pretty quick after the attack. I think she knew someone was after her. If I know my sister, she's gone into hiding. No one's gonna find her unless she wants them to. So she's safe for now. But what, what to do about Al's involvement in the bank robbery? Are you going to tell the sheriff? Don't got enough evidence for an arrest. Sides, Al and Wu are worth a lot more alive. Having dirt on them might be more valuable down the line. Best to keep this under our hats for the time being. I'll keep my ear to the ground. I'll contact you. I'll contact you when you sleep at the gym if I hear anything. Sleep. Sleep well, Jean? Yeah, like a baby. Diamonds? She ain't gonna be able to help us. We're on our own. Okay, that was something completely different. I did not realize I was doing that. I was trying to get medicine. I don't want to mess with prostitutes. I just want doctors. I want to save that poor girl from her horrible mother. Oh. Uh, okay, so I gotta look for someone. Uh, maybe... You're not walking. Are you still in my beating heart, okay. You're by yourself. No. Oh, it's gotta be someone sitting at the bar, right? Oh, you have a face! <laughs> You're just like, hat <laughs> doesn't fit. <laughs> it's so cute. Now just remember, you cross out again and I'll put a bullet in you myself. Don't plan on crossing him, but I do have a proposition. Mind getting him for me? Al's got no interest in your business, Jane. I'm looking for the messenger. Come right in. Most men that I only throw in the dirt instead of off a cliff wouldn't be so stupid as to come back to me this soon. But you always were a hopplehead, weren't you, Jane? No sense of self-preservation, I guess. So what brings you here, asking me about some messenger? Some messenger? You damn well... Jack. 
Don't you have some books to read or something to talk down to? Or are you just bored because that sheriff doesn't have you running any errands today? This is a den of debauchery. We know the chair. Jack, calm down. I got this. Look, Al. Let's cut to the chase. These two healed men behind us are Black Hills bandits. I know you've got some deal with going, going with them. You've always got your cut. You're a tough guy, Al, but you're also smart. You're in it for the money, not the chaos. Those medical supplies are worth more to this town than a fence would pay. Sides, if those suppliers never get here, who's gonna patch up Dan and your men when the rest after their next gunfight? What's your point, Gene? The messenger isn't working for you. He went rogue. There's a bounty on his head, and you know what that means. So I'll tell you what. You tell me where he is right now, and I nip this turncoat in the bud. And what if I tell you I have no idea what you're talking about? Offer to have my men shoot you in the back instead. Then I walk away. But you know what comes with a bounty? Notoriety, fame, bounty hunters. And if it gets bad enough, Pinkertons. And those dogs are the last guys you want snooping around here. You don't gotta tell me nothing. I'll just miss out on a payday. But you got so much more to lose, Al. Do us a favor. Tell me where he is. I'll put his boots on a hill. That... Do us a favor. Tell me where he is. I'll put his boots on a hill. That is some colloquialism that I do not understand. That threat'll... That threat'll keeps your head... Your other road agents in line. This is like reading Clockwork Orange. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> they get more money to spend on your tables. Best of all, no Pinkerton's gonna come marching into Deadwood. I have no idea what you're talking about, Gene. Dan, so are these gentlemen in the door. You heard the man. It's time to go. A little tumbleweeds. That's adorable. You know what's nice this time of year? Iron Mountain. I know if I wanted to get away and hide out, I'd be there. Thank you kindly, Dane. You got this job done like you say, and Al owes you one. Don't push your luck. Alright. Well, I can really only record in 30 minute increments, so I'm gonna have to stop here. If it lets me save, looks like it will. Okay, great. So yeah, there was like a night scene. They don't want you to save in there for whatever reason, but um... Yeah, um, you know, I, I, I would be curious to see the intro of the game because um, the pacing, um, you know, you set the tone with that intro, so I'd be curious to see, like, what kind of tone it's setting, but right now I'm getting the impression that there's a lot of walking and talking. Um, did not see a whole lot of action. There's just a lot of exposition, but, you know, it's chapter two, so it's really, you know, just kind of starting to stand itself up, and it's obviously setting itself up to be, uh, you know, a long narrative. So presentation is absolutely great. So many details, and I'm sure there's a reason for, you know, all these different scenes, all these different characters, if they all kind of come to a head in different ways. Um, it's a lot of information to take in, but it's all very well written, very well paced. Um, so unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot that I can possibly say because I was just kind of watching the scenes, but, you know, it's all beautiful. It sounds great. You know, some of the sound effects uh, are still a little jarring on RTP, but uh, this dead tree is especially amazing. Very, very beautiful. Uh, but yeah, all the tile sets and everything's great. Um, I'll definitely come back to this at some point. I don't have a whole lot of time to stream stuff, so don't know if uh, I'll have another video for the Let's Play, but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you are watching this and you're new to this game, check it out for sure. Very cool. Got a lot of potential. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope that was helpful, and uh, have a good day.